Hello, my name is Scott Ayer, and welcome to your 13th Blender 2.6 tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going over a quick feature in the texture mode uh, that Blender has, and it will be normal mapping. So let's open up Blender. Okay, we can get rid of the default cube. Yeah. Shift A, and we're just going to add a plane and size it up to the size of a grid. Mine's 8. Yours might be a little bit larger. I don't know. So then, before we do anything else, I'm going to switch to the viewport to texture. Then I'll hit T, and then N to bring up the properties. Go down to display, and I want to go to uh, change the shading to just or GLSL. And now we have our shading done. Now I just want to go and quickly add a material and just name it ground. And then I'm going to go into texture and add new. Make sure that this material is selected. Go to cloud or go to type. Click on the image movie. And we want to go find a texture that we can use for the ground. I am just going to use a uh, tile texture that I found on cgtextures.com. So let's change the name of this texture to tile. And I just want to open textures, floor tile, random, and it's going to be that one right there. I'm going to open the image. And as you can see, it's on there, but it's just flat. I actually want to change int, uh, not the intensity. I want to change the specularity so it's not shiny. Okay, yeah, that's much better. And then we can go back over to the texture, and you can see it's kind of big. So we can change the size we want it to be, like we can change the x and y to something uh, larger and it will make the texture apply multiple times. So quickly, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, add your normal maps. You see, in the texture tab up here, you're going to scroll all the way down and under influence. If it's not already open, open it by clicking on the arrow thing. And uh, you can see there's multiple, multiple different things here. But what we want to click on is under geometry, and it's this first one, which is going to be normal. And as you can see, it added normal mapping to it, but it's just way too much. I found a happy medium. At, uh, point 0.13 from the normal mapping. It doesn't, it's not too much. Maybe 0.15. Yeah, it looks okay. So let's just grab that. Hit G and then. Shift Z to only move along the X and Y axes. And there we go. If we look at it, we can click on it. We can make it more like 0.2. Adds a little bit more character to the thing. Well, you can also mess with these other ones. I don't know what these two do. This adds a shininess to it. You can lower that because if you have it all the way up, it kind of looks like you got water on top. So if you lower it like there, it's just going to look like it's a little bit ceramic. Maybe that's too much. Yeah, that looks a little bit more realistic. And then you can do these intensities. It'll make it brighter. Or you can make it darker. 
like so. Uh, alphas. I don't know exactly what this does, but it it's doing something that's not quite visible on the screen, and that's also not visible. But the ambient, I think, does something. No, but the emit does. And there it appears to be almost emitting its own light source, if, so to say. If you lower it, yeah. Okay, so I guess that'll be all I'll teach you for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Oh, here we go, here we go. Now you can really see the the normal mapping when you put it closer and you only have a little tiny bit of light you can see it very clearly but when it's all over the whole thing you can't really see it but when you put it closer and closer you can see all the shadows well okay now I'll see you guys in the next tutorial Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment or something to show me that you guys are actually paying attention to these videos. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Until then, bye.